The 360.3 graphic user interface is software that allows you to configure the 360.3 with the appropriate connections for input and output, along with signal processor adjustments for crossover, level, delay, and equalizer. The virtual car represents speakers that were established in the system using the OEM or aftermarket configuration wizard. Speakers that are currently available for adjustment animate with the blue audio wavelength. This means the level, crossover, and EQ are available to be adjusted in unison for that particular speaker or set of speakers. By default, both left and right speakers are linked as indicated by the checkboxes to the right. This allows you to configure settings for individual speakers or both at once. To independently configure a speaker, uncheck the appropriate level, crossover, or EQ box. Note that only similar speaker types can be linked. For example, only the left-right tweeters or left-right mid-range speakers can be linked, but not all four. Speakers are grouped into three sets labeled front, rear, and subwoofer. The frequency response graph on the top three-quarter of the interface is a visual representation of frequencies we hear. The graph uses a base 10 logarithmic scale to represent the rate of change in frequency in hertz and a linear scale to represent magnitude in decibels. The range spans from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, like keys on a piano, with lower frequencies like a double bass, tuba, or bassoon plotted on the lower end of the scale, and high frequencies like a flute, piccolo, or xylophone plotted on the higher end of the scale. Whenever adjustments are made to the level, crossover, or EQ, this graph will visually display the result. In the bottom left of the interface, adjustments for crossover, level, and delay are available. Crossovers allow a selected range of frequencies to pass to the speaker. Selecting the crossover type menu displays all pass, which bypasses the crossover. Band pass, low pass, high pass, low shelf, and high shelf. Once a selection is made, the remaining configuration menus appear. Crossover class is the shape of the roll-off at the crossover frequency. You can preview the shape of the filter in the top graph area. The most common type is Butterworth because its 3 dB down point in high pass or low pass mode is the same frequency. Crossover slope is the rate at which the crossover roll-off occurs. As you increase from 12 dB, 24 dB, 36 dB, and 48 dB, the roll-off occurs faster, as shown in the upper graph area. Crossover high pass filter or low pass filter is the frequency at which the crossover is set. Depending upon the crossover type used, you may see options for a high pass filter frequency and or a low pass filter frequency. Click the box to select the crossover frequency. Level is the amount of volume for the selected channel. You'll notice the highest level is 0 dB because anything higher would clip the signal which follows our recommendation for using this as a cut-only device to simplify setup. Click the box to specify the level. You can also mute the channel for troubleshooting purposes. Delay adjusts the time alignment for the selected channel. You can also click the box to specify the amount of delay. The default setting allows up to 10 milliseconds of delay. You can change the units by selecting device, preferences. And under general settings, the EQ delay units can be adjusted for milliseconds, feet, inches, meters, or centimeters. You can also invert the output phase of the selected channel to simplify tuning. The equalizer controls reside on the bottom three-quarter of the interface. The parametric equalizer functions allow a center frequency to be boosted or cut in amplitude using the desired Q or bandwidth. EQ band is the label of the equalizer slider. By default, they are labeled left to right, 1 to 30. You can click the box to specify an EQ slider to jump to. EQ frequency is the center frequency of a slider. By default, the sliders are spaced on one-third octave centers, but you can click the box and enter a specified frequency to change the slider's center frequency. 
EQQ is the parametric adjustment of the EQ frequency and can be adjusted from 0.1 to 6.0, ranging from the widest to the narrowest. By default, each Q is preset to 4.334. To specify a Q, click the box and enter a value. EQ gain is the amount of emphasis applied to the EQ frequency. Up to 24 dB of boost or cut is available. It may seem tempting to boost frequencies that are low, but we recommend the inverse and using the equalizer as a cut only device. Instead of boosting a frequency center, try reducing the frequencies around it. This will prevent you from overdriving or clipping the output stage of the 360.3. If you need to boost frequencies, we recommend no more than 4 dB of boost. This will typically prevent overdriving the output stage. If you're attempting to fix an area with more than 9 dB of boost or cut, there may be other issues with the system like crossover under or overlap, polarity phase, or speaker placement. To reset the Q, frequency, or gain adjustments to their default position, use the buttons to the right. The top of the user interface provides access to the wired remote control. You can specify different levels for each source, store multiple presets, and configure knob assignments. To select different levels for each processor input, select Source, then choose either Main, Bluetooth, Auxiliary, or Optical input, depending upon your configuration. You can now set the subwoofer level up to 30 dB and the punch base up to 18 dB. To save the current configuration into the processor's memory, select Device, Store Preset. There are up to four presets to save settings. By default, settings are saved to preset one. Here's a trick to save time in creating new presets. First, make a copy of a configuration by selecting Device, Load Preset to open the desired preset. Change the preset number to a different value and select Device, Store Preset. This is effectively cloning a preset and giving you a good starting point rather than creating all level, crossover, and equalizer settings from scratch. If you need to mount the wired remote control upside down, you can retain its functionality. Open Device, Preferences, then under Remote, you can select a mounting orientation of Normal or Inverted. You can also change the assignments of the knobs. To change the knob 1 function, select Master Level, Subwoofer Level, or Punch EQ Level. The Punch EQ provides up to 18 dB of boost at 45 Hz. You can change the knob assignment for knob 2 as well. Now that you're familiar with the 360.3 graphic user interface, you can configure the crossover, level, delay, and equalizer adjustments with confidence.